volleyball season officially underway. Perrysburg coming off that state final four trip, taking on Amherst Steel. Commanding lead for the Yellow Jackets in the first set of 24-12. Mia Brandenberry throws it down to end the first set. Haley Pierce getting the set, but too much. Not too much is different in the second, though. Perrysburg, big lead. Casey Ng floats it up. Mackenzie Hurley for the kill. They take the second set, 25-17. Third set, Comets come roaring back. Cecilia Weiner trying to tie it up at Sophie Berkey. Throws up the block, Aroni and Cheese, as Perrysburg sweeps the Comets in three sets to begin the year, 1-0. I mean, we knew what they were about, and this week at practice, like, we've just been getting at each other, um, working especially hard, but we talked in the locker room, like, we have to give 100%, 100% this um, match to be able to succeed, and I feel like we came out with a lot of energy, high intensity, um, we were really focusing on, like, spreading our offense out, and, I mean, it worked. Like, we're just in such a strong program, and, like, we're so grateful for that. Um, I feel like every year we just get players up from JV, and we just keep reloading, rebuilding every year, and our coaches are amazing. Like they help guide us in the right direction. Taking a closer look at that new look jacket lineup, we turn to Greg Frankie and Norm McGee. Season opener in volleyball between Perrysburg, back from their state final four appearance, and Amherst Steel, who made the state final four two years ago. And it looked like a great matchup, but it was really kind of a ho hum match as Perrysburg was dominant. They won the first two sets pretty, pretty securely and convincingly, and then they were up 24-18 in third, and then all of a sudden Amherst came alive and almost stole that third set. And then when she called the timeout, Coach Sanchez, and she's like, where were you guys this whole time? You know, that's what we were expecting when the game started, but uh, unfortunately it, it didn't happen to the end. I think good things could come out of it for both teams. First of all, Amherst had not really played well. I think we could agree to that, but showing what they did at the end really revealed their capability to have a, another excellent year. And for Perrysburg, maybe it was almost good because when it goes on later in the season, they have a six-point lead, they'll know, hey, there's an object lesson. We have to remain focused and never think it's over until we put that final point down. Absolutely. And the fact that uh, Perrysburg has had to reload uh, you know, 50 percent of their team and their lineup, um, they're just going to be doing good things. And I, I look for them to be in the top two in the NLL this this. Sophie Berkey was our player of the game, and uh, she seemed to believe, as I think the whole entire team does, that despite all the talent they lost, they can continue to perform at the level that they need to maybe make a return trip this stage. Um, you got to believe, because you know nobody thought they would do it last year. I, I, I think I quoted, I said, the little engine that could. You know, nobody expected Perrysburg down in the state semifinals, but they made it, and who knows? Could happen again this year. Certainly, will be contenders. Should be a good year. And they uh, defeat Amherst Steel. They saved the dramatics to the end, <laughs> but they did it in three sets.